Bonjour and welcome to this new video. Today I'm gonna do another workation vlog. It's going to be like that for all summer. And this morning we decided to go see the sunset over the mountains. We have been wanting to do it for a while. We actually we were a bit scared uh, to be honest because just during the night, the night we decided to, to go, we had a major storm coming up like there were lighting and a lot of rain and we thought that maybe it wouldn't happen but uh, when we woke up at 4 a.m yes i know it's super early right <laughs> well at 4 a.m we could actually see the star so i said let's go let's go we will see how it goes and let's take our rain jacket and it will be all right <laughs> um so I didn't film uh, us hiking to the top because it was night. We, we hiked at uh, between 4.30 and 5.30 and it was fully full night. I couldn't uh, film anything so the, the only thing I, I, could, uh, I could do was capturing the sunset and um, it is the time lapse you saw, I took a lot of pictures, but in the end I was not disappointed of course because it was so awesome to, <laughs> to hike up there and take a breakfast at the first light of the day. But I kind of expected a more flamboyant sunrise. Um, did I say sunset before? Well, it was sunrise. So I kind of expected a more flamboyant sunrise. It didn't really happen because of the cloud, but I, I really enjoyed the cloud and how they pictured, all they, and how they picked the light. So that's why I decided to paint a little watercolor. So I decided to paint the light uh, and and colorful cloud in contrast to the very dark valley above that didn't have any light yet. So it was a dark blue, and I I really liked. It. Oh, it looked so yeah it was it was a fun painting it was not so it was not so hot uh, but uh, but I had a lot of jacket it's not very stylish but you know hey <laughs> you can you cannot really be stylish in the mountain and it feels it feels just so so good to be out there and paint on site I've been really missing it uh, during the quarantine and I'm very very happy to be back to to outdoor paintings Today we are trying another hike, so we are starting with a bit of a fog, but I think it sh still should be very nice. The place we are hiking today is Neuville National Park. It is a very beautiful place that is usually crowded in the summer, but it is still very quiet at this time. The fog that worried us at the beginning became a real joy. It gave every scenery a mysterious vibe. It was beautiful and magical at the same time, and we felt very lucky to see this kind of beauty. I took some pictures because we couldn't stop at every corner to sketch. We had a goal today, it was to go at uh, Lake Daubert, some two hours away from the car. So with the pictures I took, I will probably do some studies in the future or use it as reference for illustrations, maybe? You never know. We hiked for about two hours now and I think we are almost at the lake that I wanted to um, to see and uh, well, we were all down there, here, earlier and uh, well, the sun arrived like I expected and it should be it should be quite nice to draw. I think we're gonna find another lake and, uh, and just, I don't know, maybe take a break. I think there will be a lot to, to sketch around here. Look at it, just, just a minute, two minutes later we just arrived. We were actually at the bottom of this uh, uh, dam because it is a lake that is used for electricity and uh, there is lots of, I really enjoy little rocks and trees like that. I'm probably gonna paint one. So we 
ended up we ended up not painting uh, up there because it was a little bit <laughs> difficult. Uh, there was there wasn't any subject that was of interest. Uh, but I found a cute little uh, number of trees that should be nice, and I'm going to to paint it now. But first, I'm going to show you what I took. I pack very lightly, so it's not too heavy when when walking because we've already walked like four hours already or today. So I think. Uh, traveling light is best. Um, I've brought my sketchbook that you may know I've uh, the other day has painted in here so my sketchbook watercolor sketchbook I have another tiny sketchbook but I doubt I will use it it's just for random sketch and uh, crappy stuff I, I don't think I will paint in it I have my my trousse. I have my trousse with various stuff like paintbrush you see this travel paintbrush that is absolutely amazing uh, that I really really love working with and uh, what do I have? I have a little bit of water and I have my palette of uh, watercolor I made myself and as you can see the blue is going everywhere every time so I put something like that so it doesn't move but I just have blue everywhere so it's, go it's what I'm going to use today I don't know if you can see, but I started with a very, very light sketch. I'm gonna change my my ways. I usually I usually start with blue, but I think today I'm gonna make an exception and, and work with yellow. I've tried to do reddish shadows, but I don't know what it looks like at the end. Uh, right now I like it. The most difficult part for me right now is uh, all, uh, all the rocks, because I, um, I find it difficult to simplify it. So, so far it, I don't think it looks so good. Uh, I don't, well, I don't know what, where this will go, but... Um, I'm trying. Anyway, it's just an idea, just a sketch on location. I try not to. I try not to be too too hard on myself. I'm just enjoying my time right now, and it's perfect. I think the last thing I'm gonna do, well, maybe in the trees. Obviously, I need to do to add more green. Uh, for it to do more, more dark, dark green, I think maybe I want to work a little bit more on uh, the background mountain here. But first, let's work on the trees. I'm a little torn about this one because there is some stuff I like, and for example, I like the composition and some of the colors I used. Like I'm happy I tried using red for the. Um, for the shadows and using a yellow first layer for the foreground so i think i think it's not clear enough the rocks for example are not so clear but i'll do better next time i guess so right now we're going down to the we're going down to the car and go back home because uh it's time to go home Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and even comment if you have anything to say about uh, mountains and, and if you can see the little marmot at the end of the video. Just tell me. <laughs> uh, see you soon for another video. Bye bye.